faith day, faith day, right? I'm getting it together, Coach. Day four, uh, a good, strong showing today. Uh, things are shaping up. Uh, as far as your team assessment goes, you've had four days, and you pretty much know what you got at this point. I want you, if you don't mind, assessing the offensive unit, defensive unit, and your special teams units at this point. Okay, Mike. Uh, starting off offense, um, I think the biggest thing for us is just learning how to play fast, um, get lined up, you know, communicate the calls, um, everybody seeing the signals. Um, with a little bit dis different situation as far as how we communicate plays, so it's imperative that everyone knows the signals, understands the signals, can communicate it between, between quarterback, receivers, and offensive line in order for us to execute. So just getting the, the, the daily routine of, of how we practice and the tempo we practice that. So we're getting better. Um, still got a ways to go, but we're getting better. Quarterbacks uh, just want to see a little bit more uh, crisp decision making, getting rid of the football. We, we, I mean, we, we try not to take a lot of sacks, so hopefully. We, uh, we can get rid of the football. We're pretty good up front, but at the same time, you still want to throw the football in time. And uh, out wide, you know, skill positions, got some talented guys uh, just trying to get them the ball in space and see what they can do. We know we got a loaded backfield, so trying to get those guys the ball. Jonte made a couple of good plays today. Fred Anderson had a long run. Budo made some good runs today. Um, Arthur as well. So um, running backs performed pretty well today. I'm still looking for uh, a, a go-to guy, so to speak, out wide, somebody to kind of be, be your guy the quarterbacks know at the end of the day we can get it to them. And defensively, um, they're still playing with high energy. Just as I told them today, it's about conditioning. It's about uh, assignment football. Um, all it takes on defense is one guy to, to, to make a mistake in the six for the other team. So just everybody understanding their roles, where they need to be on the field, being accountable to one another, and, um, and executing. And then special teams-wise, I mean, we, um, uh, Owen Houlihan, our kicker, is, is punting the ball really well. Uh, we're working hard on the different phases, punt, punt defense, kickoff and kickoff return. So I'm excited to see uh, how we progress as a special teams unit because I think that that will be the difference, I think, in a lot of ball games. Well, that's going to be the difference, especially talking about championship ball because there's going to be some times as you get deeper in the season and even in that championship game, you're going to face better defenses and you're going to have to have a strong game. I was talking with a uh, hooligan and he says he feels comfortable from about 50, 55 yards out. Uh, what's your assessment on that one, Coach? He's got a good leg. He's got a really strong leg. He's an Australian kid, so uh, they're used to, I guess, jumping around with kangaroos and so a lot of them have pretty strong legs, but Owen's a, a hard-working guy. He really knows how to kick the football. Uh, he coaches himself a lot of the times. So just trying to build a solid special teams foundation uh, around him and the other guys. We've got great coaches, great schemes. So now just trying to, uh, again, do the little things right because, as we all know, uh, championships are won with a strong special team. Now, I know it's still early, Coach, and, and as they say, the dawn of separation will be tomorrow, going full pads and everything. But is there any player that's looking uh, a little bit uh, as a surprise, that diamond in the rough, that you go back and look over some film right now on either side of the ball? Uh, probably one guy that stood out is Marquis O'Leary, um, my safety, a transfer from California. He, he really flies around to the ball, makes a lot of plays, um, really has, has developed as a leader of this defense. So he's a guy that that we expect a lot of big things from. Since the moment he stepped on campus, he's done everything right, has a great attitude, great work ethic. And uh, DeMond Jackson, I mean, he, he's already a preseason all-conference guy and played well as a freshman. But you know, every time you look up, DJ is around the football. And uh, so those two guys in the secondary have really stood out. I think up front, I've really been pleased with the defensive line as a whole. Um, I can't single out one guy in particular, but uh, just looking at them, they, they're really trying to do a good job of creating a new line of scrimmage, uh, playing through adversity. You know, when we go tempo, like I told those guys, it's, it's a 315-pound guy. you got to be able to get your hand in the turf and line up the next play and own your gap. And, and they're doing a good job of challenging our offensive line. So the defensive line as a whole, and then the DeMond Jackson and Marquise O'Leary have been three, uh, two guys in the unit that have really uh, caught my eye this camp. Now, you stressed on it a little bit earlier, talking about the conditioning. And uh, you're playing an up pace uh, tempo, which means your defense has to be used to an up pace, up pace tempo. And it's still early, but how critical is that right now on the defensive side to be able to counter that for a team that wants to slow the ball down? Oh, it's, it's, it's the most important thing right now. I mean, this league, you look across this league, Probably half the teams are some form of tempo. So as a defense, the good thing is they'll see it every day from us. So on Saturday, it shouldn't be a surprise if a team is trying to go fast. But we have to know how to, like you said, communicate, get the calls from Coach Street, get lined up, play sound you know, assignment football so that we're not giving up big plays. I think what, off, what, what tempo offenses try to do is play fast and get somebody out of the gap. 
you know, cornerback falls asleep and gives up a big play in the back end. So um, I think they're coming along, they're getting better, but we're going to try to give them a, he a heavy dose of it every day so that on Saturday, they, you know, tempo won't be a surprise to them. All right, final question, Coach. Day four, what's your grade rating? A through F. <laughs> I'm always hard on myself. Uh, one of the messages today in our team church was about assessment, uh, do, do a self-assessment. So uh, right now, you know, we're probably C, C minus right now. And, um, but that's just because uh, where we are. Hopefully, if we were A right now, everybody probably know I'd be, be lying to them. So, but got to, doing a lot of great things. I mean, on both sides of the ball and the kicking game. So I'm really impressed and pleased with the progress we're making. Um, but I'm a perfectionist, so we're not going to be an A until we until after the game. So in practice, it, it, it does you no good to be an A in practice and then get to the game and lose it. So we're going to try to peak on September 5th. So we're right now probably D minus C plus, and hopefully it'll be an A on September well, You're 5th. going down, Coach. You went from C to D minus. Try, try, try to. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, but we're excited. We're excited about where we are. And, uh, all right. All the coaches, uh, we're fired up. All right. Well, you heard it. Still work to be done. Panther Nation Camp 2015. Coach Willie Simmons wrapping up day four. This is Mike Prince saying thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the other All right, side. All right, this is Mike Prince. Along with me now is assistant head football coach Bubba McDowell. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, Mike. All right, well, you got this You got this beard thing working. <laughs> <laughs> it's a camp thing. It's going to be off in a couple of days. It's, gonna be, it's a camp thing. Well, yeah. look, Bubba, you're, you're the only coach that's here from last year, yes, sir. and and we want to be fair to the to the fans of PV Nation, mm -hmm. and and not dissing anybody in the past. Yes, what has been your uh, assessment being here in the trenches these last four days? Well, I tell you what, what I like about it is that these guys are now trying to get they getting the understanding that you know they have to play as a family, you know, and that's what uh, Coach Simmons has done a, has done a great job of just coming in and teaching these guys to be a family that they got to play for each other, they got to play for each other, and uh, for four quarters even and on the field and off the field and and that's the biggest thing that he's been preaching everything he say it always come back to family playing together playing for one another and that's the same, same kind of things we did at Miami you know if you want to be good that's what you got to do. You got to trust each other in the trenches. All right, trust each other in the trenches, and you got your guys on the islands yeah. back there with the DBs. You got to be impressed with their development so far. I am. I'm, I'm highly uh, impressed right now. I, I, I'm reluctant to say that because I don't want anything bad to happen, but I, I, I really am. You know, with uh, Marquise O'Leary, J.C. Kidd coming in, DJ seems like he's picked up from me where last year, preseason All-American. Uh, we got three other guys competing for that other, other safety spot. You know, and the young guys are doing uh, exceptionally well. Well, look, and, and I can't help but give you a hard time. You got to try to keep your little Florida boy around somewhere, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> always. Always got them Florida boys coming in from so If it ain't one you know, or two, it may be one. But, yeah, and, he, and they doing well. They doing well. And that's the main thing. You know, whoever you bring in, be in Florida, be in California, you just got to make sure that they fit with your program. They're going to help this PB Nation uh, get back to where it needs to get back. Oh, I understand that, but when you got a homeboy coming in, you say, hey, man. <laughs> You better represent when you get out of here, you know. No I don't want to hear about no crying about that Texas he to get hot in Florida too. No doubt, no doubt. He hear that. that's the first thing he hear coming in. You better represent. You better represent from the FLA. Yes, sir. Okay, Bubba McDowell, uh, assistant head football coach for PV Nation. Mike Prince here with you. Day four wrap-ups is getting heated up here, man. Not just talking about the index on the temperature gauge, but out here on the playing field. This is Mike Prince saying thank you so much, and we'll see you on the other side.